Hey everyone, this is Ben with SYS Education. Today we're talking about using tab groups in Google Chrome. Google Chrome has a feature that makes right-clicking super valuable, and it's called tab groups. So let's say that this Google Doc and this Wikipedia page are related to the same assignment. Maybe I'm referencing the content of this Wikipedia page to inform the essay that I'm writing. I've also got a couple of other tabs open, and this can get cluttered, I can maybe feel overwhelmed, or one tab that I want to reference gets lost among the others, and if you're anything like me, you often have a million tabs open at once. So tab groups can help you stay organized. So what I'm going to do is come up to this tab, I'm going to right click on it, and I'm going to say add tab to new group. I can name this group whatever I want, let's say English, this is an English essay, and I'm going to pick a color, let's go with green. Now I'm going to click out of this menu, and you can see that this tab was highlighted here, and there was a little label given to it. Now if I want to add the Wikipedia page into the group, I can either click and drag it like this, or let's say I want to add this one, I can right click on it, add to group, and choose English. Now you can see the rest of these tabs are also highlighted with that same green color. Now this is the really cool part. Let's say that maybe I want to take a break from this, or I want to jump to a different assignment really quick, or something like that. I can click on the title of this group, and all of those tabs will be hidden away into that folder. They stay open so you don't lose any progress. Nothing about the tabs changes other than that they're hidden. If I want to open them again, again, I click English, and boom, there they are. So this will be really helpful, again, if you have a bunch of different tabs open and you're kind of struggling to keep everything organized, this is a really great way to do it. If you want, you can create a second group as well. Maybe this one is math, and it's red. And maybe this tab belongs to math. So now you can see, you know, if you want to hide math for a little bit and work on English, or maybe you want to work on math and hide English, you can see how much more organized and helpful that is. Well, that's it, everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's content. Be sure to catch us next week on Tech Tip Tuesday and like, comment, and subscribe below.